so let's discuss the questions which came in this uh, cbt from dermatology the first question is a patient came to the opd with complaints of diarrhea dermatitis mental retardation it was found that he was a maize eater which of the following could be the most probable diagnosis now there are multiple hints which are given in the question the first is maize eater along with that they have given you that patient has diarrhea dermatitis and something related to the brain dementia mental retardation please remember there is a condition which is known as pellagra which is vitamin b3 deficiency pellagra which is vitamin b3 deficiency it has a very classical triad of dermatitis which is present on the sun exposed area you have diarrhea and you have dementia so you have diarrhea dermatitis dementia this is a very classical feature of pellagra now what is the significance of maize eater please remember those who take maize as the only thing in their diet maize is deficient please remember maize is deficient in tryptophan and tryptophan is a precursor of niacin so if somebody is taking only maize during their diet they will be deficient in tryptophan and if there is no tryptophan there will be no production of niacin in their body and ultimately they will have deficiency of niacin also so please remember maize eater uh, those who take jowar as their major diet in jowar also you have uh, isoleucine which inhibits the absorption of tryptophan similarly alcoholics uh, they have mal absorption or they do not take a proper balanced diet so they can also get uh, vitamin b3 deficiencies patients with carcinoid syndrome they have too much of serotonin in their body and the precursor of serotonin is also tryptophan so whatever tryptophan they have in their body they are all getting consumed in the production of serotonin and that is why these patients develop niacin deficiency so please remember pellagra very classical triad sometimes they give you image also there is a very classical lesion on the neck which is known as kessel's necklace coming to the next question all of the following are seen in this except now first of all look at this image this image shows that there are lesions which are linearly arranged so this is a very classical cobner's phenomena which you see in the patients of lichen planus cobner's phenomena means due to trauma there is development of the lesions on the lines of trauma now here this question is actually very easy we don't need to see this question look at the other options now you have to find one option which is odd one out micromundro abscess and kugos pustule this is collection of neutrophil this is collection of neutrophils in psoriasis patients micromundro in the stratum corneum and kogos micropustule in stratum spinosum so that is a feature of psoriasis wickham's trial is a white lacy pattern which is seen in a patient of lichen planus on the skin on the mucosa there is net like white lines that is wickham's trial and what is sawtooth acanthosis what is sawtooth acanthosis the retail ridges they are pointed they are sharp so normally retail ridges are like this but in the patients of lichen planus retail ridges becomes sharp like this so this is sawtooth acanthosis what is sieved bodies sieved bodies they are the dying keratinocytes in lichen planus patient t lymphocyte causes the stratum basal cell death apoptosis and these apoptotic cells are known as sieved body so option number 2 3 and 4 they all belong to lichen planus but option number 1 belongs to psoriasis so the answer of the question is option number 1 now patient is treated with 13 cis retinoic acid which of the following is the side effect of this drug first of all remember this is nothing but another name of isotretinoin it's very important to know the side effects of isotretinoin so many times we have seen questions in the exam so please remember what are the side effects of isotretinoin what are the side effects of isotretinoin first and the most common is dryness patient get dryness of lips dryness of skin then you have altered lft there is increase in triglyceride levels photosensitivity you should not take isotretinoin when you are exposed to sun the next side effect is pseudo tumor cerebri which is a space occupying lesion develop in these individual dish diffuse idiopathic 
skeleton hyperostosis and the last but very important teratogenicity and that is why we never give isotretinoin in a reproductive age female who is whose family is incomplete and who is trying for pregnancy now if somebody is already taking isotretinoin and she wants to get pregnant we ask the patient not to get pregnant for another 1 to 3 months because it is said that isotretinoin remains in your body for around 1 to 3 months even after stopping the drug so that is something which you have to take care of next question identify the plant uh, shown in this image the correct answer is this is a parthenium plant parthenium plant contain an allergen that is sesquiterpene lecton which is responsible for the phytodermatitis or airborne contact dermatitis which occurs due to this particular plant so please remember very commonly asked it's a plant with small white flower very wild flower can grow anywhere and it causes uh, either through touch or through airborne uh, it can cause phytodermatitis or airborne contact dermatitis the next question is hypopigmented macules over the back and trunk koh examination shows spaghetti and meatball in which condition you see spaghetti and meatball appearance anyone this is a very classical feature of pityriasis versicolor pityriasis versicolor is a superficial fungus which occurs due to melasesia species now what is the characteristic feature about this particular condition that uh, this particular infection that uh, because this is a yeast it remains in both spore as well as hyphal form so that is why when you do a koh mount you, you see both uh, spores and the hyphal form and they give an appearance which is known as spaghetti and meatball appearance and uh, the causative agent melasesia furfur or melasesia globosa melasesia releases azelic acid and it is responsible for hypopigmentation melasesia also releases pteridin which is responsible for fluorescence and that is why when you see pityriasis versicolor under the uh, u uh, uh, under the woods lamp under the uv rays it appears yellow in its color so that is due to a molecule pteridin so there are two molecules released one is azelic acid another is pteridin pteridin causes yellow color under the fluorescence while azelic acid is responsible for hypopigmentation so with this we are done with the mcqs uh, from dermatology